Fear not, little flock, the Bible says, for it is the Lord's pleasure to give you the kingdom. The little flock is the holy seed, a very small remnant that God has left as the salt of the earth, spiritually speaking. And by His grace, He's always left a witness of His resurrection. And that is what the little flock is. It's men and women that have been scattered all over the world by the tribulation that is going on and these days of sorrow and afflictions. So they have been scattered. We have been scattered. That is the little flock. And in some cases, there's only one person by themselves. They're separated so far from each other. There is no assembly of the little flock at this time. There's just two or three. But there's no assembly as far as a body. Because of the great tribulation we are in now. And so, with these afflictions, these afflictions that have come upon the flock have followed after the awakening, enlightenment of Christ, revealing himself, who he is, the Lord God Almighty, God in one person, not three persons. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. And this revelation has shaken off the doctrines of men, one being the Trinity doctrine, which puts Christ in second place. And yet the scriptures say, in Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. There's one person, Jesus Christ, God made flesh in the flesh. So when Jesus comes, we will see God in the fullness of his brightness and his glory. And so we look for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of the great God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is what we look for. And we lift up our heads And look up, for our redemption draws nigh. Be encouraged. Strengthen yourself in the Lord, in the word of God. Be not dismayed, for the Lord is with you, O oh, you little flock. Yes, we are the despised of the churches. You will not find the little flock in the churches because they have come out of the churches because of their damnable heresies, the poison in their worship can kill, spiritually kill people. And many have been slain by that spirit, that unclean spirit of flesh and corruption turning the grace of God into lasciviousness, that is, sexual immorality, where the lusts are all stirred up. This happens in the polluted sanctuaries. This is the abomination of desolation. So we have come out of her, and because we have come out of her, we are no longer identified with the church. We are shunned. But we have faith in Christ. We have the Good Shepherd who leads us by still waters, restores our soul, leads us not into temptation, but delivers us from evil. May God bless you. 
don't lose hope because if we lose hope we wither and die as the branches that are no longer nourished by the Spirit of Christ.